down for demo today, we have this really nice 1972 Gibson ES-335 in lovely iced tea burst finish. It's a really clean guitar. It's not mint, but it's definitely up there as far as condition is concerned. It's an early Norland era. This is a really nice era. Still a bit of a sleeper in the market, although Les Paul Customs from the early Norland era, the early 1970s, have really gone up in price lately. Uh, this one, again, lovely iced tea burst finish. Uh, which kind of just takes the dark out of a lot of the sunburst, leaves this nice cherry, or not cherry, but like reddish, orangish color blended with um, the uh, the yellow. The other cool feature about this era um, from 72, 73 is they got these embossed pickup covers. So it says Gibson on there. That only happened for like a year. Um, you know, otherwise you got typical specs from the time period. Um, I, um, you got a volute on the back of the headstock there. Um, Closed O on the logo. So you got the 70s style logo. This is a lightweight guitar. Um, it's for a 335. It's a great example of it. So you got the stock trapeze tailpiece, the witch hat knobs. This is actually a nickel uh, patent number bridge. They start putting nickel parts back on here. Even that bracket there is, is nickel. Uh, but the covers are chrome. Um, there's some finish checking uh, on the surface in a couple areas. Nothing terrible. Um, yeah, it's a clean, nice uh, vintage guitar. It comes with the original uh, black line case. I should add that I haven't changed the strings on this. These are really old strings. I, they look old to me anyway. Um, so some people like the sound of worn in strings. They're not quite as bright. Other people want them nice and fresh. So I'm just gonna leave these. Um, but yeah, the other thing is the ABR1 here is nice and straight. There's no collapsing to it. So you don't have to worry about the radius being off or anything like that yeah I mean you could just I have it kind of set up to my liking you can give it a setup if you want and play it as is change the strings whatever um, yeah really cool 1972 Gibson ES335 thanks for checking it out